So in the gaming conversation, I like to look at all of this, you know, the way we engage gaming. And I try to look for the benefit at the end of the day for people who engage in gaming and who watch the channel and who we have conversations to, you know, together. One of the things that I feel is a benefit and I think is a benefit if I look at it, you know, from a financial perspective, uh, you know, strategic perspective is that, you know, people play their games or at least entertain the thought of engaging in owning a gaming PC so that they can actually enjoy its benefits as gamers. From time to time, whenever I make videos about talking about the pricing, you know, why the proposition is better than console, some people think it's a personal attack to them being a console player. I've seen a few comments that, you know, sometimes they'll basically insult you. They'll say, oh, the PC cringe race or PC player being annoying again. To you, here's a video that I wanted to make, you know, for you. And that video is, don't come to the PC platform. Don't play on PC. Don't entertain the thought. Enjoy playing on the console because you want to play on the console. A lot of the videos that I make are videos that actually do point, you know, to people wanting to actually make the change. It's them I'm making the videos for. Because I don't know if you guys know, I'm a content, uh, you know, creator. And most of my content is for the people who watch my content and from the people who watch my content. I get a lot of my content ideas from the comment section. I don't have to go anywhere else. It's the most original thing that you can do as a, you know, as a content creator is to read your, you know, your audience's responses and remarks as best as you can and pull from what they say and what they actually are resonating with. For example, Laker 2020, shout out to you. You said Sony ain't Nintendo. That's a video in itself. I can sit there and be like, man, shout out to you. I can basically come up with some talking points. I can come up with some data sets to show how Nintendo is different and to show how Nintendo has actually the, the, the ideal strategy that Sony tries to emulate with its exclusives, but is hindered by third party publishers who do just as well or better in their publishing than Sony. That's a video idea. I get all my ideas from you guys. So when somebody says something about PC, it's simply because you know, they know that I play on PC and I want to try to see if I can actually help with that conversation. So for those of you who may take offense to it, I'm not apologizing to you. I'm saying like, if you see a video like that, quickly close it. Don't worry about bothering yourself because I will say things that are not friendly to, you know, PlayStation and Xbox from the console perspective, because I know that they are basically shafting their customers. They are not being fair to the console player. That should be something that we all agree and accept. No one is attacking you. I'm talking about PlayStation and Xbox. If that feels like an attack on you, I think you may need to rethink how you actually engage in gaming because the box is not your identity. Far be it from the reality. So again, if the PC platform is not convenient to you, you think it's a hassle, you think it's a problem, don't touch it. Absolutely do not touch it. Because I don't want anybody going out there and complaining about, oh, you know, some content creator, you know, suggested they make, you know, they, they move to PC, they move to PC and they're not satisfied or whatnot, or they go make a decision without proper research. And then, you know, I'm somehow, you know, in a sense, indirectly responsible for somebody not being satisfied with the decision that they made and then they put money on. So, yeah, don't touch a gaming PC. If you're a hardcore console, you know, player, you've always enjoyed the console proposition. You feel like it works out for you. It's a box that you can place in the corner in your house that, you know, fulfills your, uh, you know, the use that it's there for, which is to play video games you have friends on there and everything, then that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Why would I want to inconvenience you? If you see PC as, in, as an inconvenience, whatever your perceptions and your thoughts are, that's perfectly fine. I'm not here to change. I, 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 should I have, I've said this many times. I'm not here to change your mind. In fact, I'm bad at changing people's minds. In fact, I've seen some people who've told me straight up, you have all the facts and all the data, but I just don't like the way you said it. And I'm like, man, I can't help the way you feel. 
And I'm not trying to help the way you feel simply because I understand that I don't want to be liable for persuading you. And then you're disappointed. If you know what I mean, I'm just at this point where I'm kind of, you know, I'm not a baby anymore. You know, when you know how it is, guys, when you get a little older, we just stop worrying about all those little things. And so it's like, yo, you know, you do you. Let me provide what I think is the useful information that I, as best as I can provide it. And people who want to make a decision can make a decision themselves. Another thing, too, is resist the temptation to come in and say some of the things that you think without properly doing a lot of the research. I see a lot of these comments and I just feel like, man, maybe we should, you know, have the conversation in a way that makes sense. One of those comments is, oh, if you're going to buy a P, if you're going to, you know, get a PC that can do what the console does, you have to spend twice as much money. That is not true. That's not true. And in some of the videos I will make to actually show this, I'll still get people insulting me, saying that what I'm showing them is just not good because reason A, B, C, D. Like, let me give you guys an example. This one is actually the best one. You're going to see this. Somebody told me and said, can you make a PC for a so-and-so amount of money around the price range that will perform better than the PS5? I said, yes. So I actually spent the money buying the processor, buying the CPU. I don't need, I literally removed a 6800 XT from one of my builds so that I could put a 6750 XT, a less powerful GPU, so I could actually make the build and show, this is it, guys. Hey, do you know what somebody asked me in the comment section? Where's the TV and the monitor? The extra price for games on console. But they just like, where's the TV and the monitor? Somebody asked me that question in a world where a GPU has had an HDMI port for at least over a decade. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like people ask you for, they ask you a question, you answer the question, they see the answer to the question, and they look for ways to subvert the answer that they requested, or they get upset when you give them the answer. Don't touch PC. Don't come to PC. I recommend that you don't do it. That if you have a problem, if you have a problem with, you know, so, you know, maybe somehow you don't like PC players or whatever it is, or maybe you think PC players are like former Xbox players, because some people, I've seen people, some people say that. Oh, you PC players are former Xbox players. Fool. I've never, I, I, I've, I never owned an Xbox until I actually went back to PC. Oh, yeah, the Xbox 360. Somebody gave me an Xbox 360. It didn't matter. I just played my Batman games and my FIFA games on it. I didn't even have internet. I remember living in an apartment where the internet was like, like I think they charge you like maybe like 80 bucks every month or so just for a connection fee. And then you still have to pay for the internet. It was like some stupid amount. I was like, I'm not paying for that. The console that I was playing on, it did not matter. I just played the games that I wanted to play. I didn't play all the, all the big hits. I didn't play those games. I, I played soccer as an African. I played soccer games. I played FIFA Streets. That's what we played back home. We played soccer games. And then I played Batman games. I was not, I didn't know what was going on with this console war thing. It was none of my business. I had no idea. And so I'm just a, I'm just a guy that wants to basically help people. Okay. If you have a problem with the possibility of PC or if you, you know, if whatever your preconceived notions are, place them in your pocket. Trust me. I've done my homework and I've done my research. I've spent years scouring the market, scouring marketplaces, understanding the PC hardware inside and out when it comes to price, when it comes to cost, when it comes to resources. I've lived it. I'm not saying something that I haven't, you know, I'm not just talking the talk. The walk is there. I just don't have the need to actually brag. I just, you know, I see people talking about PCs and stuff and they're talking about stuff. Trust me. People who, people who know me, they're like, hmm, I, I shouldn't even say this. It doesn't matter. It won't matter in the end of, at the end of the day. It won't matter at the end of the day. So don't come to PC. I hope, I hope you actually are, you know, are convinced to stay away from the platform because it's just not a platform for you. You know, you have an animus towards it. You have an animus towards anybody who's basically trying to point out how it's, you know, beneficial, how it's better. When they say that, it makes you upset. You know, 
I mean, I doubt that you, you know, you probably need to be in an ecosystem that makes people feel that way. And I think the conversation in today's, you know, gaming is just so polarized that nobody can even try to help anybody else without everybody actually getting, you know, or feeling some kind of way. It's just kind of weird at the end of the day. So here I am making this video saying don't come to PC. You know what's the craziest thing, ladies and gentlemen? This conversation has made some people so unhinged. I've literally had to block them multiple times. Trolls, like obsessive people that I'm literally like now checking for security in my, of my own physical safety because these people are just obsessed. But I mean, I live in a state where you don't walk up to somebody anyways in the U.S. So, I mean, I'm sure they probably have find some, somehow found out where I live, which is your business. But, you know, when you see where I live, you're going to be like, nah, bro. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, that's just how it is. Don't, you know, when you see it, like, ah, nah, it's, it ain't worth it. I mean, you know, so, you know, that aside, but it's insane. I've had to block people. And then there are some people who continue to still find ways to argue things that they have basically no idea about out of just pure spite that they were, they were wrong. They didn't know what they were talking about. And I did not intend you know, to make them feel some kind of way. I just wanted to ensure that they weren't lying. And that just really upset them. It really did upset them. And many of them continue to poison the well of the conversations. So I hope that they never come to the PC platform because they prefer console. And I would hate to make them feel like they needed to come to the PC platform. So if, as all is said and done, at the end of the day, to those who say, you know, we prefer the console, we feel like it has these issues, even though if I, if, you know, somebody were to show you that these issues are not really a big thing, you still think the issues are there, it's fine. It's your choice. Game wherever you want. It is none of my business. However, I owe my own community the work to at least respond to their comments when they give so much they give me their time they give me their attention and they ask me questions they talk about these things and i respond to them i shouldn't have to act you know walk on eggshells because you know close the video if it's not for you okay this is me asking nicely the next video you might not like it because i might go you know me I, I i just say how i feel i just i say how i see it you know i and in a moment i could be unfiltered and i can be really you know brutal but i just i mean i, I have good intentions in, in that regard at least I, I i try to at least you know come up from a place of good intentions but don't get it twisted <laughs> if i see that there there's truth and lie, you know if i see that truth is actually being maligned and lies want to get spread i will say something and in this whole conversation i'm actually basically pointing this out now because you know that someone is going to find fault anywhere that they can. And they always do. But again, you know, my intention is to just say, we can enjoy the platforms we play on. There's no problem. There's no problem. Unless people want to make it a problem of some kind. I don't know. But anyways, thanks for watching. Peace out.